All right. So um, I do have on occasion double vision. So if so, we're going to go full pirate. We just got up. <laughs> just oh, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, very so. Okay. okay, so obviously this is looking at replenish love, such an amazing name, and the effects on the human biofield. Oh. Okay, and um, this is me. Um, I'm a mind body integrative therapist. Essentially, I've uh, got lots of licenses, certifications, um, clinical counselor, body worker, visual manipulation. But the most, and uh, naturopathic doctor, the most important thing for this is the fact that I'm a certified biofield analyst. And that means looking at our actual energy field where our eyes can't really see and getting information from what's going on, depending on the stimulus, depending on the environment, so many different things can change our energy field. Um, my company here is, here we go, is GDB Southwest. And uh, that's uh, me wearing that hat for the next one. Oh. Okay. So the equipment used to do this. Many of you have been here before for my presentations. Um, but for those who haven't, I use uh, something called GDV Pro uh, camera. It captures the energy fields of many different things. And the GDV stands for Gas Discharge Visualization. And actually, it's dash ETI, which stands for Electron Photonic Energy. It was developed in Russia, I believe, in the middle 90s, maybe the later part of the 90s, I don't recall the exact date, by a Russian engineer and biophysicist and a team of biophysicists, doctors, um, psychiatrists, everybody you can think of, um, programmers, to create this particular piece of equipment. It's considered cutting edge medical scientific grade equipment. And it's considered that because it's valued for accuracy and repeatability. And the results are verifiable. It's utilized in medical clinics, hospitals, research facilities, labs, you name it, um, in Russia, of course, and uh, over 40 other countries. And the visa may know is verifiable. They originally were using it in clinics in hospitals as part of the diagnostic process. They would take energy field captures with this camera and then compare to the more traditional ways of uh, instrumentation and diagnostics and everything would correlate beautifully. They also used this to track patients' progress uh, depending on whatever treatment. And so periodically they would take top captures and again compare it to the instrumentation the typical medical field uses. And find that everything really lined up. Um, there's a, well, I can go on and on with funny stories, but I won't. Let's just say that um, uh, an Olympic skater that they warned after testing him to not perform in the Olympics wound up having a breakdown on the eyes and walking off and um, disenrolling himself from the Olympic team. So it's very, it's very interesting stuff. And what I like about it is it makes the invisible visible and measurable. And that's really important. 
You get, there are many, many kinds of uh, bioenergetic fields. Uh, there's the human that we're going to be looking at today. There's um, spatial fields of different environments. There's water uh, fingers, which of course um, go into comprising the human energy field plants. You name it, gems, anything that's alive as an energy field. And this system lets us quantify and collate the data. And that's really important because it allows us to examine the underlying field dynamics, to really look at the effects on a biofield, and to look at the before and after results. And this is how I feel after I <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my the protocol I used was as directed. I put it um, under my arms. Put it in and around my navel and the bottoms of my feet and halt the feet, the bottoms of my feet and toes. And I also applied it to two important energy things that are my favorite points, some of my favorite points on the body. The um it's called the inner gate point and the outer gate point. Essentially, it's pericardium six is the inner gate, and the triple warmer five is the outer gate. There you go, like that. Okay. Do we have to repeat it? Yeah. <laughs> and um, they actually, among other things, they regulate our physical immune system and our emotional immune system. So it was a comparative study before and after captures, two captures a day for five days. And the captures were 25 to 30 minutes apart on average. And the results were then tabulated and compared in specialized software to really look at the data in real time. And the purpose, of course, was to show the physiological uh, changes, if any, because who knows what I find, and to really look at what was going on. Now, the physical field usually doesn't show changes very quickly. It usually takes hours, usually a day before something begins to show up, often even days before it shows up. And um, as we'll, we'll see here, results shown took place within 25 to 30 minutes. And that mm -hmm. was astounding. Whoops, you've got to see it now. <laughs> <laughs> So let's look at those results. All right, the first program we're going to look at is the ATLAS program. And there are a lot of different programs that come in the software. The ATLAS program is one of my favorites for a quick at a glance look at what's happening to all the organ systems in the body. And you'll see how that works in a few minutes. And all the GDD. Um, software depicts the varying, the, the results in different ways. So essentially they're taking that um, energy field that you saw a picture of earlier and they're dissecting it to look sometimes um, really granularly about what's going on with the energy field. But the Atlas program is really great for um, the lay person and to just get a sense. And there's the organs. And we will be looking at three different sets of before and after. <laughs> the first set shows the before and after for three of the captures. It was basically as depicted in the Atlas program, basically the same results. And then the next two sets show before and after results that were very different. So this is result A, the first capture set we're looking at. There, uh, something was, let me get this point in, here we go. So something was going on with my liver, something was going on with my respiratory system and my sacrum, which I think that the applicate can look us to that. Um, and the respiratory, it's incredibly windy in Santa Fe, in New Mexico. And lots of pollen swirling around. 
And I'm pretty sure that's why this shows up and it shows up a lot, you see that. Um, the liver, it's, it has a yellowish tinge there, which shows that it's overworking. There's excessive energy. It was stress. I was stress. It was stress. So this is the before capture. And this is the after capture. The liver vanished because the function of the liver normalized. The respiratory system still shows some issues as does the sacrum. Um, but the liver normalized after only 25 to 30 minutes, which is, again, really astounding. So this is result. Um, here we go. This is the before capture, result B. And this before capture showed that my immune system was really hyperactive. A lot was going on, it was working over time. And the Atlas program, and I, we can see that because of this yellow line all around, and in the actual program, it's flashing, saying alert, alert, alert. And it's um, the immune system and the, um, uh, uh, ooh, the neurological system. And so, this is the aftercare. Within 20 to 30 minutes. And all I did um, in those 20 to 30 minutes is I had a timer on and it was just sitting, waiting until the timer went off until I needed to capture what I didn't do anything special. <laughs> so this is result C. And my system was a total mess, a lot of stress going on. So we have the lymphatic system, the urogenital system, the left kidney and adrenal, the liver, um, all of that's showing, and of course the sacrum and the upper respiratory system. But everything is moving over here. And then after, one of the 25 to 30 minutes, everything is better. Um, the respiratory shows up. And what's really interesting to me, um, I, I have a, a puppy. Um, he's very strong. And the puppy's now about a year old and has a lot of torque because it's kind of low to the ground and loves to pull and twist and everything while I walk her. And I get pulled and twisted. So what I find really interesting is that after 25 to 30 minutes, all everything else calmed down, restored normal function. However, the lumbar shows that it's weak. It has too little energy. And I really feel that what happened was that the replenish was bringing that up and out because don't forget folks, energy doesn't stop moving it keeps moving through the entire system. We're looking at um, like just a, a still shot of one point in time. Oh, so. Obviously, impressive results in a 30 minute time stream. Okay, so we're going to take a closer look now. We're going to look at some energy field comparisons. There we go. So we're going to look beneath the physical, the organs, and we're going to look a little bit deeper at the actual field. <laughs> Would be, oh, let me just state again. We're looking at this particular capture set all throughout here, just for consistency's sake. All right, so this is the energy field before, and this is the energy field 25 to 30 minutes later. There's a lot to dissect here, and so we're going to focus in on that area. 
and then do a real close up of that. And we can see um, that there's a lot of divots going on here. Some of what's going on on the um, right side, it's a little tricky to see to the lay person, but like this area here started to fill in um, with really healthy blue energy. And this area here that was kind of purplish and kind of a muddier blue, um, the healthier blue energy is beginning to show up all throughout there. And on the um, left side, it's really pretty obvious, um, uh, probably because that's where I hold the lesion where most of the stress is. Um, so it's pretty obvious here. There's a lot of divoting going on. The energy field is really rough. There's not a whole lot of that really beautiful light blue coloration. Uh, and look at what happened again, 25 bazillion years later. Um, a lot more of that beautiful light blue happening here. Um, it's evening out, all those divots are filling in. And it's a lot smoother. And what this is actually showing, this area here that I circled that we were just looking at, is looking at the immune cardiovascular and nervous system. And so now we're going to look at this. There we go. Okay, so we're looking now at the actual finger patches. And again, a lot to dissect, so I'll make it easy. So we're going to look at the cardiovascular system. And this is before replenish low. These are the cerebral zone vessels throughout here, and this is the actual cardiovascular system. And you can see that um, I was a mess. So wonder I was still functional by looking at that. And look, just 25 minutes later, wow, big difference. So people zone is filling in, smoothing out, healthier energy there, cardiovascular system, the same. And that's on the left hand. This is on the right hand. And these are the coronary vessels and the heart. And again, um, not in good shape, which um, is interesting because I am in good shape, but it did not show that energetically. And yet after 25 minutes, it started to smooth out and really all those little divots and holes started to really fill in. <laughs> And this is on the right hand and right hand with filter. We just looked at that. A whole lot of healing in just 25 minutes. I mean, it's astounding, really. As I mentioned earlier, it's just a snapshot in time. That's all it is. The energy is still moving. This bird's eye view changes. The energy continues to move and continues to uh, heal whatever is going on in the system. So now we're going to get a little more technical, not much. Um, this, these are integral parameters we're going to look at. And the integral parameters are very quick indicators of the overall condition of what's going on. Again, it's there, it's a graph that the glance, you know right away, oh, this is what's going on with the system. Everything has an integral parameter. Each organ has an integral parameter set, um, but this is of the entire system. So we can see it at a glance. Uh, you'll notice pink shows a lower than adequate energy level. Blue or green, it's a little blue sometimes. Green is a very normal, normal range. And yellow shows high levels, really stressed out. If the levels are too high, it's very, very dangerous. 
If they're too low, I, they're very dangerous as well. So the most important integral of parameter is something called activation coefficient. And the activation coefficient shows the baseline level of energy that the system has to deal with whatever's going on, whatever stressor. And essentially, it's showing our resilience. It's also showing how well we're able to cope with stressors. And those stressors can be emotional, physical, or mental, or all of the above. And when it's very low, it's our reserves are really down. We just don't have a lot of energy to do much. And maybe you guys can answer that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to look at the same chapter set as before. It's for consistency sake. And these are the, um, for that capture, the, this is the set of overall integral parameters. Um, the integral entropy is a little high, but we saw that in the before captures. Um, things were overactive, working hard. And the most important one again is the activation coefficient. It's not terribly low, but it is in the pink range and it is low. And all of a sudden, 25 to 30 minutes later, wow, the entropy here has gone down and that ever important activation coefficient has significantly raised. And for those of you who like it simple, here it is. Before, <laughs> after. <laughs> really easy to do. <laughs> So essentially, replenish love raise the activation system for my whole body, activation coefficient for my whole system. And it's the equivalent of giving my system's battery a quick charge. From this <laughs> to this, <laughs> all within 30 minutes. So some final thoughts. A lot of change in just 25 to 30 minutes. And that's very impressive. So how could it happen? Biochemistry can't explain it. Biochemistry explains a lot, as we heard in Nicola's wonderful presentation earlier, but it can't explain those almost instantaneous results. Maybe they were instantaneous. if I didn't take it from the after capture immediately following the before capture after the retention. Okay, so biochemistry can explain it. Ah, <laughs> field effects, the informational field. And we're looking at vibrational or informational medicine so I'm probably not going to say his name correctly, but biochemist and Nobel laureate Albert Svent Georgi um, did a lot of um, seminal research on this. And he says that life is too rapid and subtle to be explained by slow moving chemical reactions and nerve impulses. It's, that just doesn't happen that way. And he really is considered the foremost authority on biophysical communication via the information and the energy field. And further research by the doctors mentioned up here, Dr. Ji Ling, Dr. Mei Wang Yo, James Ashman and countless others identified the existence of a living fluid matrix. And that is the existence of a true nervous system. That's what they called it. And that is a crystalline matrix of the body. 
in a, a liquid crystal form of the fascia, which is the connective tissue that connects every part of the body. I had the good fortune many years ago, I was part of a, um, a group of people who partook in, I like to say it was a live dissection. Obviously, the person was not alive on the table, but he was flash frozen after just 12 hours. And it is not what, I mean, you really wonder what doctors study. They, they have these long, turkey, jerky looking um, cadavers, and you can't see anything. <laughs> Oh, and and but what you see when you do this kind of dissection on a body that's flash frozen, first of all, all those ancient, um, not ancient, but very, very old paintings that, are, that show the doctor in the dissection room, and the body is glistening and vermilion and yellows and every color. It is just a work of art. And the connective tissue linking every part of the body is the fascia. That's the living matrix. And I, I chose this particular um, a gift because that's really what it looks like. That fascia is wrapped around every part of the body. There is not one part of the body that does not have fascia. And all that fascia is connected. It's not like you wrap a piece of chicken and you put it in a, um, a bag in two trees and then you wrap another piece of chicken or whatever. It's all wrapped as one. It's just gorgeous. And it gleams and glistens the crystalline matrix of the body. The research shows that the properties of fascia allow it to function as a super highway for energy and information to move instantaneously across the body. And it's high-speed communication via the conduction of the light, because that's what information and energy is, um, via the, the conduction through electrons, protons, and other things that we don't really even have names yet. Or possibly even <laughs> kind of like everything moving at the speed of the light. Instantly. So the field via the fascia or that living matrix controls the biochemistry. It's not the chemistry itself. <laughs> What is interesting to remember is that the chemistry, the physical substances, that all the different ingredients in the terms love, each part of that has its own field and its own energy. And um, Rick mixes it all alchemically to begin to have this overall effect, which is really pretty remarkable. <clears throat> so, it looks like Joe Biden's wizardry. Yeah. I have looked like that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it looks me up, so but it's sitting in the back. And he's created the equivalent of a magic pill called Lieutenant Love. A magic pill that heals and enhances health and vitality from the inside out. It replenishes and rebalances the body and the body systems for optimal function. And that's pretty cool. So our health is definitely worth more than it's not worth it all. Worth turbo charging, that's for sure. And we finish love to the music. And here's my contact info. My comment should go.